We should take these Colombian bastards out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head, your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leone. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. Yo, my man, Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need $100,000 to cover expenses. But you know with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. Okay, let's do this thing. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Lookers, it's a puppy! Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <laughs> and who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. But uh, Lazo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example of manners in this city. People are rude, and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay, and the lady's like, a dollar twenty-five, please. So I get out my checkbook, and the guy behind me is like, oh, come on, lady, you don't have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last few dollars last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walked for the Cure t-shirt? People are so considerate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A get a good vantage example. point. Then I'll head Every in when you fire the first shot. The hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Charisse. And this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me honking and flashing your lights. Then he gets over this megaphone and says to the woman in the teal my Batsu monstrosity, please move to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged into
want the chance. Portland Harbor. All cars in the Portland Harbor investigate reports of gunfire and explosions. <laughs> 